180.000 flygtninge. They danced. They rapped. Final episode. Are you ready for a wild final? Det er Tokana-regionen, det nordlige Kenya, det her. Jeg har aldrig prøvet noget lignende. Der er 180.000 flygtninge, og de fleste af dem altså øvet sig lige præcis til i dag. Velkommen til Kakuma har talent. Kakuma has lots of talent, but to win, you have to impress the judges. Actress Jackie Vicky, dancer and choreographer Rene Ray Karanja, and last but not least, Juma Anderson. Juma Anderson makes all of Kenya laugh on TV, but in Kakuma's Got Talent, the contestants need to make him laugh. What about you? You look like Nicki Minaj. Are you Nicki Minaj? You are Nicki Minaj, Lee here. Shit, that's starstruck. How long have you practicing? Yeah, for three months. For three months? Yeah. And how long have you been dancing? Me. I dance for four years. For four years? Yeah. I must say, it's stunning. It's stunning. You're really good, guys. Yeah. Man, you can come with superstars now. I know, man. That's what we do. There's a lot of talent in the competition, but hip-hop seems to have won over many of the young groups. One of those is the hip-hop group, Raw Kings. Sam, Simon and Hasla have rapped and written songs together for many years. They've practiced every day and now they're hoping that it's their turn to stand on stage as the winners of Kakuma's Got Talent. To me, with the guys, I believe they're taking me beyond borders. I've always looked at them as brothers, and I've, uh, whenever I'm with them, I felt the sense of belonging. I feel like I have a family. And having them in, in my life is a blessing. You are like a family. Yeah, because I'm someone who is forgotten. Like, I, don't, I live like I don't have a family. I always live like an orphan. But when they are with me, I always have a reason to live, and I always have something that I'm living for. Only two years old, Hasla had to flee his homeland, South Sudan, with his mother in 1996. In 1998, they returned home, but South Sudan was no longer safe, and Hasla again fled to Kakuma, this time with his aunt. After nine years in the camp, he found out that his mother was still alive in South Sudan. Despite the dangers, Hasla went back and found his mother, but sadly, she passed away shortly after. Alone and with no family, Hasla once again fled back to Kakuma. Years later, he passed the camp registration office, where a young boy looked strangely familiar. It turned out to be his brother, who he had never met. Thanks to the Rawkings, Hasla still has hopes for the future, and he hopes it will include a victory in Kakuma's Got Talent.
So how are you guys feeling now? Oh, we're feeling uh, really, really good. Really good. So I feel like really kill it. We got it. That's it. I mean, uh, I think uh, before the performance, I think we were like nervous, but uh, after the performance, we're just cool. Just it's cool, man. Serve. Yeah, you're good. You're really good. Yeah. Yeah. 